All right, here we go with the Japanese tier 7 medium tank, the Shiri. Uh, what we got here is a pretty much unarmored tier 7 medium tank with a free shot outer loader. Uh, 155 pen, 130 damage, pretty nice for tier 7 mat. Nothing great, nothing bad, really. 1250 hit points serves the purpose, I would say. It's pretty nice. And when you look at it from the rear, you can already imagine what kind of tank it is. Well, when I look at the rear of it, I, uh, the first tank that comes to mind is the Amix M4. And that's basically the same tank, only with an outloader and Japanese. And possibly, uh, I think it's, it's a little bit faster. It feels a little bit more mobile. The pressure is probably better. And that's about it. Yay. No, really. Um, what you get is the auto loader. It's the, basically the biggest thing about this tank. It has another gun, but I would recommend using the auto loader. It's way better, especially with its retardably fast reload. So I'm going for a sniper position because I don't want to expose my tank. As I said, there's no armor here. Basically, a tier 5 tank that knows how to aim that knows not to shoot the uh, angled sides of your turret cheeks will probably pang you in the turret. Plus, of course, there's a huge and giant coupler out there. Yeah. Now, accuracy-wise, gun-wise, in general, the gun is pretty darn decent. Fast reload. Look at this. Look at this. It can actually equip the rammer. I, I'm not sure if that's like a bug or something, but this tank comes with a rammer. You can see I'm trying out um, just firing without fully aiming. You need to fully aim. I have a GLD installed, but I assume you might want to have a... I don't know. It's, it's still not enough. It's a one second reload. With a rammer it's even less. So I'm trying to get a shot here. Not getting one there. And then I realize, wait, that Wolverine just got murdered and blabbed. It's time to take this guy out first. It's another Shiri coming up. But I got a Tiger P with me. There we go. Getting a nice shot on him. Accuracy, aiming, aiming time on this tank is really nice. Really fast. Which helps a lot. And there we go. You can see the gun depression. Not great. Not ultimately super awesome, but pretty good. Taking the damage here, just to take this guy out. Free shot uh, magazine is really nice, the clip unloads so quick. In close combat you don't even have to reload, so you can just unleash. I mean it's only three shots, but look how fast it reloads. I would say it reloads even faster than the T-71, and that already is a machine gun. So again, same tactic. This is probably the most important part about this tank. As you can see here, Tiger P is engaging this tank and I'm flanking. This is a pure support tank. You can fight for yourself too, obviously, but to get the best out of it, I would highly su suggest having another tank to support you. Or better to say, another tank that you can support. As you can see here, Shinu, the tier 5, the normal Shinu, no, no, it's a Shinu Kai actually, pent me easily. It's getting a beating for that there. There we go, taking that one out. Now, obviously, I don't want to go uh, on myself. I don't, first of all, I only have 500 hit points left and in tanks like these that are really badly armored, you probably don't want to be up front. So what I'm going to do is try to support the outflank. Then I see the Shinokai running away, getting him out of the play. Trying snap a shot. Accuracy on long range is alright, but not supreme. And that's the end of the game already. It's a pretty fast game. Test server games are always fast. Now, oh, it's actually showing the 
got the impression a little bit there. Now, in general, I would say the tank is pretty nice. I got uh, seven games in it uh, so far, and probably not going to play much more in it. Would I play it in a platoon? Yes. Solo pumping? No. <laughs> I mean, it's a fun tank, but it, it plays like a mix of medium and heavy. And it lags on both, both ends. It's not fast enough to really do uh, sneaky maneuvers or risky maneuvers. Oh, and I'm stuck here now. There we go. And it's not heavily armored enough to be a slow waltzing killer machine either. So it's kind of in between. And with the auto loader, it has a good amount of damage coming with it. I mean, that's. Uh, with each shot, an average one at least 100 damage. It's at least 300, possibly a little bit more. But keep in mind, it's a tier seven. A T29 will probably do the same damage with one shot, a little bit less maybe if he rolls low. So and you have to hit every time. You saw that I bounced on the Shinokai once because I wasn't really aiming. So what else is there to say? Premium ammunition is uh, AP instead of APCR, really nice. Has a little bit more penetration, nothing really great, but I would say for fighting tier 9s, you would probably want to load this. And that's my biggest gripe with this thing, I think. The auto loader against tier 9s, you can flank them, of course, always. You'll be You'll have to be really sneaky and have a lot of situational awareness to get behind a tier 9 with this tank because it's so slow, but it's possible. Uh, equipment wise, like I said, it can equip a rammer. I would suggest you doing that because a rammer in an auto load is uh, awesome. Um, optics, because it's a heavy tank still and even though it's a support tank, I'm probably going to play it uh, in a platoon. I never trust people to spot for me. If you do, then I would suggest using vents instead. And last but not least, GLD. Really needed. The tank reloads way faster than it shoots, uh, and then it aims in, so you will need GLD. Vents may even help with that too. Camo. It does have some camo, but not much. So. I don't think camo skill will help it a lot. God damn it, I did it again. Why you do this? And that's it. The Shiri, the Type 5 Shiri, the Tier 7 medium tank. Mm -hmm. I would say play through it, have fun with it. It's a pretty darn decent tank. But play it in a platoon. Alright, see you next time.